Welcome back to TK Tennis. So today we have the full review for Kirschbaum Flash. Several people asked me to review Flash because they know I like Kirschbaum Orange and they thought Kirschbaum Flash plays very similar to Orange and they asked that I do a comparison to see what kind of difference I would see between the two. A uh, quick housekeeping notice. When I return back from Germany, I return back home. I'm going to be doing a review of Torna Big Hitter S7 Silver and then Hyper G Soft. So I know my upload cadence has been slow while I'm here in Germany, but I hope to have a flurry or a small flurry of videos coming out here soon. So let's jump into the review of Kirschbaum Flash and get into the attributes and the characteristics. So let's go right to the control category. So on control, Kirschbaum Flash gets a very good to it and excellent. It's not a hyper stiff string um, like an MSV string that I recently tried. So I give it a very good rating to, towards an excellent rating in terms of control and precision. So moving on to spin potential, it oh, gets a very wow. good. It's not a shape poly, it's a typical round poly. It has very good spin potential, but it doesn't give you anything for free on the spin potential like some spin oriented strings. But overall, it's very good. It just doesn't get the highest rating for spin, and that's not a bad thing. This is sort of what you'd expect with most, most polys. So going to the snapback category, it also gets a very good. This is not a very slick poly, so it's a little bit drier, so it does have some friction. Um, but that friction just means that its snapback is maybe a little bit more deliberate and slower, and it's not a hyper slight, it's not hyper snapback like you might have on a Toraline string that has a really slick coating. And that's not a bad thing either. Actually, I'm finding out and I'm learning that I actually prefer that. Some of these hyper slick strings, like some of the Toraline strings where the snapback is harder and faster, it tends to sometimes have premature snapback is the best way to describe it. So I'm finding that I kind of like a string that does have obviously very good snapback, but not hyper snapback. These strings always return back into position, um, just like Kirschbaum Orange. It just doesn't do so as Oi. aggressively as some other strings. Going into the power category, it gets a higher end of normal. This string does give you, like Kirschbaum Orange, it does give you a little extra power for free. Now, some people might say in the comments, like some strings give me 10% or 20% more power. I've never found any of that to be true with any poly. If you get a little bit extra for free, maybe Play one courts. or two percent, Swing as hard that's as you can. more like the norm, well, what you get on a particular nice. poly. Maybe if it's a restring zero, you might get 5% extra power. But even then, I don't really think it's really 5%. So you do get a little extra pop for free. And for someone that doesn't generate or has to manufacture their own power, doesn't have it, is not just a, generally a big hitter. I actually like having a little extra power for free. But if you are a big hitter, you may not like that. Moving on to durability, this is really the story of this string, at least in terms of I use this string for one set and it broke within about two and a half to three hours. So it broke exceptionally fast. It actually broke on my second hit. So I hit for two hours and then I hit for maybe an hour on the second hit and the strings broke. And as you can see from the video, we are hitting on clay in Germany that may break strings faster and it does, but I've been using Kirschbaum Orange as well this week and it's lasting about six hours. So I was surprised to see it break this soon. I'm gonna use a second set, which I have here um, and I'll update it in the first comment. Right. I'll pin a comment after I'm done using it to see if maybe it was just one abnormal, uh, an anomaly with one set of string. So in the first comment under this video, in a couple of weeks, I'll update whether the second set broke as quickly. But don't let line. You, this throw you off from possibly not using the string. If you are not a string breaker, it's probably something you don't need to worry about. And if you want to break strings and you're not a string breaker, maybe in fact it is something that you want to use because there is some satisfaction of breaking strings. So not necessarily let this low durability rating throw you off from potentially using the string. Tension maintenance was normal, but I don't know what else to say about normal since I only used it for one set and broke really quickly. 
it didn't lose much tension in the three hours that I played it, maximum three hours that I played with the string. So I gave it a normal, nice. but I think that's still up to uh, interpretation ah. uh, or future use. So the overall feel of the string, I wouldn't call it soft, that's why it has an asterisk next to soft, but I'd call it sort of medium to soft, oh. so more towards wow. the medium side. So it has, it's, it's certainly not a stiff poly by any means, but it's also not a softer poly like Kirschbaum Orange. Another characteristic to, to describe feel is crisp. Um, not entirely crisp, but it's certainly more crispy than Kirschbaum Orange. And personally, I like that a lot. I want a string that sort of is in between that crispy and soft range. So I really like the playability of the string for those three hours. And it is lively. Like I said, uh, going back to the power category, it gives you a little bit for free. It's got a nice sound acoustic when you hit the ball. It's very lively, and I like that as well. So the overall grade, a tale of two tapes here. For a 3.5 to 5.0 level player in terms of playability, it gets an A. It plays fantastic, but if you count durability along with it as an overall grade, it gets a C minus. So it really depends on what you expect out of a string and how often you can um, get your racket restring or you want it to get it restrung. So who is it for? It's for the typical recreation player who is seeking a relatively soft to medium poly with a crisp, clean feel. String breakers may want more durability, and those who don't break strings but want to, this may be the one. This string has outstanding play overall playability, as hard as you can. much like its family member, well, Super Smash. Nice. Would I use it again? Yes, and I will use it again, but only if I don't mind stringing often, which sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. But I want to give this string more of a chance uh, than this one set. So again, in the first comment under this video, about two or three weeks after I published this video on September 10th, you should see a pinned comment that discusses uh, whether this durability rating is wholly accurate or not. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do so and like this video. It helps the algorithm a lot. And if you know someone that's interested in my string reviews, please share the video as well. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next ACE.